katika bwana aliyesifanya mbingu nazo inchi basi unanipata uh, moja kwa moja kutokea katika station zetu za Upper Room TV Upper Room TV tuko maeneo ya Dono may the lord bless you so much ninaona watu wameanza kuingia pale wengi 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 wanaingia may the lord bless you may the lord bless you sina cha kusema lakini kusema kwamba bwana azidi na kuwabariki sana azidi na kuwainua tena zaidi na zaidi umekuwa mtu wa maana sana umekuwa mtu mzuri sana maana kila mara umekuwa ukinishikilia mkono tunapoingia katika mitandao yetu hii ya upper room tv na kwa hivyo hata siku ya leo ninataka tu nikwambie kwamba bwana atakubariki tena zaidi na zaidi zaidi na zaidi nataka tu pia niseme kwamba tunavyozidi kuendelea katika mitandao hii yetu unaweza uka request a song maana hapo lipo unaweza kaniambia kwamba ungetaka uh, wimbo upi nami nitakuwa na kuchezea bila shaka nitakuwa na kuchezea pale wimbo huo ambao unaweza ukamtaka alafu itakuwa ni jambo la baraka tena zaidi naona watu wa ingeingia pale Ah naona vila sanasema mina niko ndani Manuel Okotha anasema niko ndani ah vila sanasema tuned in Gobes so much vila za Elias Chasa anasema msaada wangu natoka kwa Bwana Peter Paul anasema msaada wangu natoka wapi haleluya endelea tukunitanishia watu endelea kunitia watu tunapozidi kuendelea katika ibada hii ya siku ya leo ama lunch hour hii ambayo Bwana ametupatia itakuwa jambo la baraka siku ya leo siku ya leo siku ya leo kama unaelewa ya kwamba tunapozidi kuendelea 
topic yangu nimekupatia pale topic yangu tunaenda kudiscuss inatoka kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah sitini na moja Isaiah sitini na moja na, na topic yangu ni swali inasema when the holy spirit uh, when the holy spirit uh, is upon me when the holy spirit uh, is upon me when the holy spirit uh, is upon me that one is my topic today when the holy spirit is upon me wakati ambapo roho bwana ako juu ya maisha yangu roho bwana akiwa juu ya maisha yangu mambo yatakuwa vipi na kwa hivyo endelea tu pale tu endelea pale tu tunaingia pale moja kwa moja Ah nasikia bila sana sema ya kwamba kakamega tunakupata vizuri sana God bless you so much Vilas endelea to continue in pale endelea pia na kushare I want us to pray alafu tuendelee moja kwa moja let us pray Abba Father in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth tunakuheshimu tena mfalme tunakupenda tena bwana maana ulitupenda mwanzo atujaona Mungu mwingine kama wewe Bwana ndio maana ninakuheshimu ndio maana nakutukuza pokea sifa siku ya leo pokea na magudio maana wewe ni shujaa wa msalaba uimidiwe Bwana utukuke Bwana milele asanti barikiwa tena Jehova nisi in the name of Jesus tunaomba na mtu mmoja sema amen and amen and amen basi naamini kwamba mali ambapo ulipo unaendelea kunipokea vizuri tena sana katika sesheni hizi zetu za Aparuma Aparum TV Aparum TV Bwana ubariki sana when the spirit when the holy spirit is upon me when the holy spirit is upon me ah, sasa twende moja kwa moja basi pale kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah Isaiah 61 Isaiah chapter number 61 pale ndipo tunapenda kupitia somo letu la siku hii ya leo na furahia maana ninajua kwamba Bwana ni mwaminifu basi tuende moja kwa moja Isaiah 61 anasema the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted Ah, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Na tunapoanza kuangalia kuna kitu kimoja ambacho nataka uelewe ya kwamba Isaiah was a prophet. Na kwa hivyo Isaiah anapoanza kutoa unabii anaanza kutoa unabii na ana direct unabii wake naita the messianic prophecy yani anachilia unabii wake unamwendea ambaye ni masihi ambaye ni Yesu Kristo na kwa hivyo Isaiah anaanza kusema ya kwamba na roho wa Bwana yuju ya maisha yangu kumbuka ya kwamba maneno haya haya ndio yale ambayo Yesu aliyatumia kwenye kitabu cha Luka Uh, Luka inne kuanzia mstari ule wake wa 18 ya kwamba na roho wa Bwana yuju ya maisha yangu maana amenipaka mafuta Somebody say amen Roho wa Bwana katika maisha yangu maana amenipaka mafuta Sikia bila anavyosema ya kwamba he has anointed me to preach good tidings and uh, uh, unto the meek amenipaka mafuta niwahubirie maskini ama wadhaifu habari njema na kwa hivyo when the spirit of the lord is upon me number one, i receive the power to minister the gospel unto the meek na kwa hivyo everybody that has got the spirit of the lord as well as got the power to minister the good tidings nasema nini kila mtu ambaye ako na roho ya Bwana anaweza wakuhubiri Yesu aliye na mwana ana ushuhuda Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana aliye na mwana ako na ushuhuda na kwa hivyo ni jukumu lako ni jukumu langu siku ya leo ya kwamba tukaanze kufanya kazi maana tare tuko na roho bwana angalia vile matendo ya mitume yanavyosema kwenye acts of the apostles chapter number 1 leo ninakwenda tu kwa utaratibu twende pale kwenye acts of the apostles chapter number 1 Nisome pale mstari kisha nitakuwa narejelea tena pale pale kwenye Isaiah sitini na moja aha Acts of the Apostles chapter number 1 the Bible inasema hivi kuanzia 
uh, verses number 8 kuanzia verse number 8 inasema hivi ya kwamba uh, but you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth Skia. and you shall receive power when the holy ghost has come upon you so you receive power upon the coming of the holy ghost uh, over your life Bwana sifiwe sana. And so uh, uh, in Acts of the Apostle anasema ya kwamba and you shall be my witnesses. When you receive power, you become witnesses to preach, you become witnesses to begin witnessing about the goodness of Jesus. So a a a a, a tunaambiwa pale ya kwamba you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem in Judea in Samaria and unto every part of the world allow me to chambua kidogo kuhusu Jerusalem Judea na Samaria wakati roho bwana amekujilia number 1 Jerusalem is a place of peace so unaanza kuhubiria mali ambapo ni pa amani ndio maana mtu anapookoka anakuanga na amani nobody deserves you the devil doesn't want even you anakupatia muda umeja katika kanisa mpya nobody anakuchomea yani uko tu pale unasikia vizuri alafu jutea ni mahali pa milima milima unaanza kupanda milima kisha samaria ni mahali ambapo ni pa desert so, mandiko inaposema unakuwa shahidi Jerusalem, Judea na Samaria, inamaanisha ya kwamba you are supposed to preach the good tidings when you have got peace. Aha, uh -huh, that's number 1. And number 2, when you are on mountains, wakati unapanda milima, wakati hali si hali, unafaa kuendelea kumtukuza Bwana. Number 3, ni katika deserta, mali ambapo things are not working out well, but you are there praising the Lord. You are there giving glory unto the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So, in every step, in every area, in every way Unaanza kumtukuza Bwana why because the spirit of the Lord has come upon you somebody say amen tuendelea vizuri sana so Isaiah 61 anasema ya kwamba he has given me uh, he has anointed me to bring the good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind the broken hearted wale ambao mioyo yao imevunjika umepewa neema ama upako wa kushikanisha mioyo yao ama to mend the broken hearted yani ya kufariji mioyo umepewa uweza wa kufariji mioyo kuna watu ambao mioyo yao imevunjika kuna watu ambao wamekata tamaa wengine katika ndoa zao wengine katika biashara wengine katika maisha yao ya kihali ya kifedha mwingine hana kazi anasikia kujimaliza kujiua listen to me child of god when the spirit of the lord is upon you then you have got the power you have got the grace ya kuendea na kuanza kuahubiria and i pray one thing in the name of jesus because the spirit of the lord is upon you kumbuka ya kwamba matendo 1:8 na tuambia but when the holy spirit has come upon you you shall be endured with the power it means the word endured in a manisha utavikwa utavalishwa power yani utakuwa unatembea umevalishwa mavazi ambayo ni ya power so when the holy spirit am take over your life you begin manifesting his glorious work you begin declaring how he is you begin confessing the power because i told people the other time ya kwamba the kingdom of god is not about preaching the kingdom of god is about uh, the demonstration of power you demonstrate power when you're preaching the word of god that's why we must have the Liberals. That's why demons must scream as they are living. That's why the cripples must walk alone. That's why the deaf must hear. Diomana tunambiwa hapa ya kwamba. He has given us power 
to make the broken hearted uh, to proclaim liberty to the captives uh, kutangazia mateka wakati wa uhuru wao kuwatangazia walio katika prison uh, ya kwamba wamefika na nafasi ya kufunguliwa sina aibu jioni ya leo na mchana wa leo nitangazia mtu ambaye shetani amekalia nikwambia kwamba pokea neema ya kufunguliwa jioni hii ama mchana wa leo katika jina la Jehova wewe nampae mapepo yalikuwa kwenye magereza kuna watu wanaangalia mchana wa leo wamefungwa kwenye magereza ya laana wengine magereza ya kuonewa wengine magereza ya umasikini na kutabiria na ninakuompea toka katika hiyo magereza maana roho wa Bwana yuko juu ya maisha yangu amenipea mamlaka ya kufungua wale ambao wamefungwa na kwa hivyo katika jina la Jehova naachilia neema ya kufunguliwa saa hii naachilia neema ya kufunguliwa saa hii mali ambapo umewekwa kwenye minyororo I declare freedom right now. I declare freedom right now. Receive your liberty right now. Receive your freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wengine wamefungwa katika magonjwa ya kila mwezi. How I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Anatuambia kwamba ametupatia mamlaka <laughs> ametupatia mamlaka ya kufungua wale walio katika magereza hiyo gereza uliyowekwa pokea neema ya kufunguliwa mchana wa leo a a ama etoki to somebody hiyo gereza ambayo ibilisi amekuweka receive the grace right now to be set free rabo shaka ya baganda receive the grace right now i proclaim liberty right now i proclaim liberty but right now natangaza kuwekwa huru receive your total freedom wengine kwenye madeni i decree receive your total freedom right now wengine kwenye laana za kiuko i declare and i decree receive your freedom right now in the mighty name of jesus Hallelujah. Tuendelee kabisa tuendelee kabisa. Verse number 28. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Na menipa pia uweza wa kutangaza mwaka wa Bwana. Hallelujah. Nasikia nitangazia mtu katika mwezi huu ambao tumeingia wa tisa ya kwamba mambo yanaenda kuwa sawa. Nasikia nikutangazie mwaka huu ni mwaka wako na mwezi huu wa tisa ni mwezi wako. Maana yule Bwana mpaya anafanyanga miujiza. Eh hey, bado the same same God is working a miracle even today the mighty name of Jesus. Nasikia nitangazia mtu siku ya leo Nimwambia ya kwamba usifadhaika katika moyo wako usilie ndani ya moyo wako mambo yanaweza kakuwa ni mazito lakini the lord who did a miracle the bible says is yesterday today and forever more the same he changeth not anasema ya kwamba nenda kawatangazie mwaka huu nenda kawambie mwaka huu ni mwaka wa bwana nami nakwambia mwezi huu ni mwezi wa Jehova na kuitishia neema ndani ya mwezi huu ya kwamba mwezi huu wa tisa wacha ikazae maneno mazuri mwezi wa tisa ikazae baraka mwezi wa tisa ikazae neema ya kazi mwezi wa tisa ikazae neema ya mabiashara mwezi wa tisa ikazae neema ya ndoa wale ambao wanasikia wanataka kukata tamaa nimetumwa na Bwana nikwambie sio wakati wa kukata tamaa my brother sio wakati wa kukata tamaa my sister aha jikungute mavumbi simama wima tena e maana Bwana bado anatawala kuna mtu ananiangalia mchana wa leo anasema ya kwamba hauelewi napitia nini nimetumwa na Bwana nikwambie mchana wa leo ya kwamba roho bwana amenituma tena katika maisha yako ni kwambia kwamba usikate tamaa usilie mpendwa kilio kinaweza kikashinda usiku kucha lakini asubuhi yake furaha inaonekana tena oh my goodness anasema nimekutuma ukatangaze mwaka when the spirit of the lord is upon you 
Unaenda kutangaza mwaka wa Bwana. Hii inamaanisha ya kwamba the Lord has given power in your tank. Whatsoever you are going to decree and declare, so shall it gonna happen. May you receive that power in your tank right now. Receive the power in your tank right now to begin declaring, to begin announcing the power of the Lord for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, when the spirit of the Lord is upon me, then I've got all that it takes. Hallelujah. Rabo shaka yabo. Sela baganda, sela bayanda. Oh, rekotara bagande. Salebo zia na bagoya manda bo sheteketa zalaba. In the name of Jesus. Number three, anasema. When the Holy Spirit is upon you, He has given you authority to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Na kuna wale wanao oboleza, unaopatia neema ya kuwa fariji jioni hii mchana wa leo. Pokeni neema ya kufariji watu ambawa kuchini. Karika jina la Jehova to appoint unto them them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the law that he might be glorified so when the Holy Ghost is upon you, unapatiwa mamlaka ya wale ambao wako na mavazi ya kuoboleza. Unapatia mavazi ambayo ni ya furaha. Yaani ukiwa na roho bwana, unakwanga umebeba authority. Unakwanga we si mtu wa kawaida. Nikasema kanisani Jumapili ya kwamba we become weapons. When we are carrying Jesus, we become weapons. Asisi watu wa kawaida. Geukia mwanzo akomwambia wewe si mtu wa kawaida ukiwa na Yesu. Haleluya. Kuna mtu ananipata pale mwambie wewe si mtu wa kawaida ukiwa na Jehovah. Namba 4. And as a maybe, and they that and they shall build the old ways, shall and they shall raise up the former desolation, and they shall repair the ways cities, the desolation of many generations. Ukiwa na roa bwana, unakuwa na neema ya kuripea kitu ambacho kiliaribika. Kuna watu maisha yao yaliaribika. I pray the name of Jesus. May you have the grace to repair the former thing that uh, uh, the former desolations in the name of Jesus. Uh, I speak it prophetically. May you get the power to repair that which was destroyed in your life. How you saw me say manini msari wa ina kwamba nawe utatengeneza mahali pa kale palipoharibika kuna watu maisha yao iliharibika kuna watu hivi ambavyo walivyo sivyo walivyokuwa miaka tano imepita kuna watu hivi ambavyo wanavyoonekana sivyo walivyokuwa miaka kumi imepita maisha yao ilienda ikaharibika maisha yao ilienda ikakuwa mbaya wengine walikuwa na ndoa ndoa zikaisha wengine walikuwa na biashara biashara zikaisha wengine walikuwa na fedha lakini wawezi wakasema pesa hizo zilipotea vipi basi when the holy ghost is upon you you will have the authority to repair your life and i pray today in the name of jesus may you begin to rebuild yourself in the name of the lord may you begin to rebuild your life once more one more time may you begin to rebuild your marriage one more time in the name of Jesus. Eh maana kuna mtu ambaye analia siku ya leo. There is somebody anasema ya kwamba nilikuwa na maisha mazuri lakini sina maisha hayo mazuri tena. I have come to tell you when the Holy Ghost is upon you, you will become a craftsman of your own destiny. And I speak over your destiny right now. I speak over your life right now. I speak over your marriage right now. I speak over your business right now. May your business Business begin to have life. May your marriage get life right now. May your job get life right now. I speak life into your finances. I speak life into your health. In the mighty name of Jesus, them that are faint, them that are discouraged, I encourage you right one more time in the name of Jesus. Inuka tena kwenye hiyo mafumbi. Si mama tena useme ya kwamba I know the Lord is on my side. And with the Lord is on our side who can be against us. Siku hii ya leo nasikia niambie mtu ya kwamba 
Roa bwana kushukie, roa bwana kutetee, roa bwana kupiganie, roa bwana akuongoze. Mstari wa tano kisha nitakuwa nasoma jumbe zenu na mnapokea simu mbili tatu hapo, alafu tunaendelea. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your fine dressers are but you shall be named the priest of the most high na wale ambao ni wapita njia watakuja na watasherekea kutokana na uzao wako hiyo inamaanisha kwamba hautakuwa mtu ambaye ni ukiwa hautakuwa mtu ambaye amekaukiwa na kuitisha hiyo neema usikaukiwe tena in Jesus mighty name usikaukiwe tena in the name of the law tigiza mtu mwambie kwamba roho ya kukaukiwa ishiwe na mamlaka sahihi katika jina la Jehova Tingiza mkine mwambie kwamba nimekataa kukaukiwa katika jina la Yesu. Tingiza mwingine watano mwambie kwamba napokea neema ya kusonga na mbele, napokea neema ya kuinuliwa, napokea neema ya baraka, napokea neema ya mwanko mpya katika jina la Jehova. Siku hii leo when the Holy Spirit is upon me, then I am more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Taka niende moja kwa moja katika jumbe zenu. Alafu nitakuwa ah, napatia na nafasi ya simu mbili tatu hivi kisha ndoko tunaendelea wale ambao wananisikiliza kule manyumbani tafadhali nipigie simu wale ambao wananisikiliza pale tuchangie mada hii ya kwamba roho bwana akiwa juu ya maisha yetu mambo uanga yanabadilika kwa hivyo mali ambapo ulipo nisaidie tukuhubiri nisaidie tukuhubiri na bwana atakubariki tena zaidi na zaidi basi jume zenu sema hivi kwamba Ah naona kuna watu ambao wameingia pale. Aha aha acha nizipate vizuri pale. Pate jumbe hizo vizuri sana. Aha 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 aha. Naona mtu anaitwa uh, Daniel Akoto Hambola uh, anasema ya kwamba preach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, msaada wangu natoka kwa Bwana msaada wangu vile sasa amina all the way from Kakamega ile anasema Luke 4:18 Bwana kubariki sana roa Bwana akiwa nawe unapokea habari njema haleluya nami pia na connect na hiyo kwa sababu ya neema ya Bwana Roa Bwana akiwa juu yangu unapokea pia anasema kwamba unapokea nguvu I connect with that one in the name of Jesus alafu pia anasema pale chini anasema nini pale wacha nifungue fungue pale sema amena roho uh, ya Bwana roho ya kukaukiwa sio sehemu ya maisha yangu imani anasema ni kondani ndani tena sana God bless all of you uh, sana sana tunapozidi kuendelea kabisa roho Bwana anatutawala roho Bwana anatuongoza roa bwana anatunenea roa bwana anatuhudumia na kwa hivyo Ah tunapoendelea katika uwepo wa roa bwana tunajua ya kwamba roho mtakatifu ametutangulia roho mtakatifu ako mbele 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 ya maisha yetu na kwa hivyo nataka nikutie mwani kwambia kwamba roho wa bwana akiwa juu ya maisha yako mambo yanakuwa shwari mambo yanakuwa shwari kama ni kazi unaipokea tu kwa sababu roa bwana anafanyika kuwa katika maisha ya mtu ambaye anatusikiliza siku hii ya leo na wewe ni mtu wa maana tena sana naamini ya kwamba wewe ni mtu ambaye umejazwa na roho na kama hujajazwa na roho kabla ibada hii ya leo kuisha kuna watu ambao tutawaombea hapa na watakuwa wanapokea roho mtakatifu kwa hivyo jiandae tu maana ninajua ya kwamba tunaenda vizuri katika uwepo wa roa bwana na katika nguvu za bwana wa majeshi basi nataka tu nikuletee wimbo moja uh, sorry wimbo moja hapa uh, wa roho mtakatifu alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea vizuri maana najua kwamba uh, wewe ni mtu wa maana sana wimbo huo nataka ni ulete unasema niloweshe 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 kwa roho mtakatifu niloweshe kwa kwa roho mtakatifu najua kwamba kuna watu ambaye wangetaka 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 tu kuloweshwa na roho mtakatifu na kwa hivyo watu wengi ambao wako pale wimbo huu umeimbwa na Dr. Sara K mwenyewe anasema kwamba niloweshe basi tuelewe pamoja tusikize wimbo huo alafu tutakuwa tunaendelea vizuri roho mtakatifu
Sarakei pala nasema kwamba niloweshe kwa roho mtakatifu na kuomba roho wa Bwana niloweshe roho mtakatifu niloweshe tu pale Sarakei anatuambia kwamba anamuomba roho wa Bwana akamloweshe basi tunaenda vizuri tena sana naelewa vizuri vizuri pale kumbuka kwamba tunaongea kwamba wakati ambapo roho mtakatifu ako juu ya maisha ya mtu when the spirit of the lord is upon somebody Nipigie simu pale tuweze ukachangia mada hii ya siku ya leo mada hii ambayo roho wa Bwana kwa juu ya maisha mtu eh hey, pigie tu pale simu za ukanipigia pale simu unaweza ukachangia changia pale uniambia kwamba unawaza nini roho wa Bwana akiwa juu ya maisha ya mtu mambo yanakuwaje nipigie tu simu pale itakuwa ni jambo zuri sana nami nitakuwa napokea ujumbe wako nitakuwa napokea simu hiyo yako tunapoendelea kujia chilia chilia pale katika uwepo wa Bwana ipigie tu simu yako pale Yesu ni mwaminifu anatawala milele
mambo yatakuwa tu sawa na ngoja simu yako hiyo pale mali ambapo ulipo mali ambapo ulipo mali ambapo ulipo tu alafu bwana atakuwa anakubariki zaidi na zaidi na zaidi na zaidi haleluya katika jina la Jehovah tunapoendelea tu kumgojea tu bwana tutapoendelea tu kuendelea katika ibada hizi naangalia jumbe zenu zinazidi kuingia watu wanazidi kuleta jumbe zao twende tu kazi twende tu kazi twende tu kazi haleluya nazidi kupokea neema hiyo ambayo mmewachilia katika station hizi zetu za Aparum TV ninajua kwamba utabarikiwa zaidi na zaidi zaidi na zaidi mambo ni mazuri katika mitambo huku sijui kama unanipokea pale sauti yangu vizuri ama uh, nifanye vipi pale naona kama sauti inakuja vizuri nafikiria sauti inasikika vizuri kwa hivyo <laughs> tuendelee tuendelee vizuri tuendelee vizuri when the spirit of the lord is upon me roho wa bwana akiwa juu ya maisha yangu roho wa bwana akiwa juu ya maisha uh, yangu mambo yanakuwa mazuri mambo yanakuwa mazuri eh nataka tu mtu mmoja nipigie simu pale tuendelee kuongea pale niweze kusikia unaniambia vipi mambo ni mazuri kule upande wako ama mambo yako vipi hapa kwenye station tunawapokea vizuri Ah tunaona tunaona pale kuna watu ambao wanazidi kutuangalia pale Bwana akubariki sana Bwana akubariki sana na mimi kwamba mambo yanakuwa mazuri by the grace of the Lord by the grace of the Lord haleluya 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 mambo sio mabaya mambo ni mazuri mambo ni mazuri Yesu akiwa amekalia kwenye kiti chake cha enzi things are okay things are okay haleluya yes 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 mazuri mambo yako safi kabisa aha 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 basi tunaendelea pale tunapoendelea kugojea gojea uh, uh, kuendelea pale mstari ambao ni wa mstari ambao ni wa sita wa sita mstari wa sita unaniambia ya kwamba nataka nisome pale mstari wa sita wa sita unaniambia ya kwamba but you shall be named the priest of the lord Men shall call you the minister of our God. You shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and in their glory shall you boast. Roho Bwana akiwa tena juu yako pia jina lako linabadilika. Anasema ya kwamba nawe utaitwa nani? Utaitwa kuhani wa Mungu na wa baba ama wanaume ama wanadamu watakuita mtumishi wa Mungu. Nawe utakula utajiri wa Mungu, nawe utakula u, utajiri wa watu wa kiyunani na utaendelea kufurahia katika utukufu. Bwana asifiwe sana. So when the spirit of the Lord amekuja juu yako, you given a new name. You become a priest of the Lord, you become somebody ambaye ni precious in the sight of the Lord because the Holy Spirit has come upon you because the Lord himself has taken charge amekuwekezea roho wake mtakatifu akakuwekea ndio maana unapatiwa neema nyingine unapatiwa msaada wa roho wa bwana unapatiwa jina jipya unaitwa mtumishi wa bwana kwa hivyo kuitwa mtumishi wa bwana sio jina la kawaida <laughs> haleluya ah, kuitwa mtumishi wa bwana sio jina la kawaida ni jina ambalo limebeba mafuta kuna watu wanapenda kusema kwamba Ah uh, sipigani na mafuta. Kwa hivyo kuitwa mtumishi wa Bwana ni jina ambalo wanga limebeba mafuta. Kwa hivyo unaitwa mtumishi wa Bwana. Alafu namba 7 na sema nini? For you are shame, you shall have double. Kwa aibu ambayo walikupatia, Bwana anakulipa mara mbili. Ile aibu ambayo walikuwa wamekupatia, Bwana anakulipa tena mara mbili. Ukuitu hivyo hivyo anakulipa mara mbili. Bwana asifiwe sana kwa aibu ambayo ulipatiwa. Bwana anakulipa mara mbili. Hizo simu zendele kukuja. Ah, let the phone continue coming. Tuko hapa kwa sababu ya mtu ambaye anatusikiliza. Ah, itakuwa jambo zuri sana. For your shame you shall have double and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. They are off in their land they shall possess the double 
Haleluya utapokea dabu katika maisha yako katika confusion Mungu anakurejeshea zaidi anakurejeshea double portion Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo unapozidi kuendelea elewa ya kwamba Mungu anakupatianga neema Mungu anakupatianga kibali sio tu kibali cha kawaida lakini anasema katika aibu ambao walikupatia anakurudishia double portion na katika kuchanganyikiwa anakupatia furaha kwa hivyo kuna watu ambao waliwekewa aibu na mashetani Mungu anasema kwamba ah, anakurejeshea double portion keep your phones coming keep your phones coming ziendelee kukuja tu maana najua kwamba tunaendelea vizuri endelea vizuri let them continue coming up by the grace of the lord tunapoendelea kumtumainia bwana tunapoendelea kumwabudu bwana tunapoendelea kuzungumza na huyu bwana hapa nasema ni pale namba next nasema namba 8 ya kwa namba 7 nasema kwamba and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess the double Every lasting joy shall be unto them. Number 8. For I the Lord have for I the Lord love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Na mimi nitafanya agano na wao. Agano la umilele. Haleluya. Hebu tuende pale kwenye Luka 4 mstari wake ule wa 18. Tuangalie When the Holy Spirit is upon me, Luka anatuambia nini? Maana hawa wote wanatoa wanatoa habari uh, uh, nzuri. Isaiah ako na habari njema na Luka pia ako na habari njema. Tusikie uh, wanamaanisha neno wanasema nini pale? Luka 4 mstari wake wa 18 pale na 19 vile inavyosema kwa utukufu wa Yesu. Aha, inasema hivi inasema hivi samani kidogo niweze kuipokea vizuri niweze kuipata vizuri tu hiyo luka ine alafu pale mstari wake ambao ni wa eh, 18 inasema hivi the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted to preach deliver deliverance to the captives and the covering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised kwa hivyo pia mtumishi wa Mungu pia anaongea anazungumzia the same history anazungumzia habari hiyo Luka Luka anatuambia kwamba roho bwana yu juu yangu na haya ni maneno ambayo Yesu mwenyewe alia quote from the book of Isaiah Hallelujah Jesus himself quoted these words from the book of Isaiah na alikuwa anasema kwamba roho bwana yuko juu ya maisha yangu kwamba the spirit of the lord is upon you na kwa hivyo anasema kwamba amenipaka mafuta amenipa uweza na hapa anasema kwamba nikawahubirie maskini injili iliyo njema na 19 to preach the acceptable ear of the lord nikahubiri mwaka uliokubalika wanani aha wa bwana and then he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears leo hii maandiko yametimia katika macho amagarika masikio yetu haleluya maana roho wa Bwana yuju ya maisha ya mtu. Roho wa Bwana akiwa juu ya maisha yako unapokea authority. Naingia pale ndani sasa nipatiane points. When the spirit of the Lord is upon you number one, you receive power to rebuke demons. You receive power for prayers. You receive power for working miracles. When the Holy Spirit is upon you, you receive power for a new beginning. You receive power for new strength. Mandiko anasema tunapokimbia na tunachoka, wangojeao Bwana wanafanyishwa nguvu zao zinakuwa imara tena. So, understand ya kwamba when the Holy Ghost is going to be upon somebody, you shall have new strength. And I pray in the name of Jesus May you have new strength in the mighty name of the Lord. I pray the name of Jesus. 
may you have new strength in Jesus mighty name new strength in your ministry kuna mtumishi wa Mungu ananiangalia siku ya leo usichoke baba pokea nguvu mpya tena katika huduma wako we unanitazama usichoke pokea nguvu mpya tena katika huduma huo pokea nguvu mpya tena katika uimbaji we ambaye unahisikana kwamba unaenda kukata tamaa nimetumwa Bwana kuambia kwamba sio wakati wa kukata tamaa ni wakati wa kusimama imara maana you shall receive the new power na chilia hiyo neema katika jina la Jehova wakati katika matendo ya mitume nikielekea pale kumalizia malizia ninapogojea uniongelesha katika simu yako chagie mada hii uh, pale kwenye matendo ya mitume tatu nikiangalia vizuri nasema ya kwamba hata kinapita walipoenda kwenye hekalu ikiwa masaa ya kuombaomba wakaambia yule jamaa fedha na dhahabu sisi baba, baba, baba hatuna lakini kile tulicho nacho tunakupatia wakamwambia katika jina la Jehova fanya nini inuka na ukatembee it was the manifestation of the holy spirit huh? that was at work because walipojazwa in acts of the apostle chapter number 2 inasema vipi when they were seated in one accord hey nataka nisome hiyo acts of the apostle chapter number 2 verse number 1 inasema hivi And when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind aha wind and it filled all the house where they were seated and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were filled with the holy ghost huh? and began to speak with the other tongues huh? as the spirit gave them utterance now wakajazwa na roho bwana na wakaanza kuongea katika luka zingine kama vile roho bwana aliwapatia matamshi so when the spirit of the lord has filled you you will have the grace to speak in other languages hallelujah somebody when the holy ghost is upon you you shall have to speak in new tongues and i pray in the name of jesus may that portal of speaking in new tongues be opened in the name of jesus hiyo barabara ya kuongea kwa lugha mpya ifunguliwe katika jina la jehova na kuitishia hiyo neema siku ya leo mchana wa leo na kuitishia hiyo neema ya kuongea katika ndimi kuna watu wanaangalia hawajawahi ongea katika ndimi nasikia ni kuitishia hiyo neema siku ya leo ya kwamba ninapoelekea katika tamati ninapoingia katika maombi wacha mlango wako wa ndimi ukafunguke siku ya leo katika jina la jehova kuna mtu anaangalia pale anasema ya kwamba Nimejaribu nimeomba miaka na miaka sijafunguliwa mlango huo leo hii believer hakuna distance katika maombi hakuna umbali katika maombi amini ya kwamba it is possible itafanyika believe ya kwamba by the help of the holy spirit you are gonna speak in new tongues in Jesus mighty name kwa hivyo napoenda kuomba na kupenda kia kama mbili hivi ujiandae andae napoingia katika maombi sasa jiandae jiandae andae pale kidogo diposta tukaweza kuingia katika maombi ya mchana huu wa leo kwa dakika moja nitakuwa narejea alafu ndakuwa napokea simu zenu kwa ambao wangetaka kuniongelesha wangetaka kusema jambo ama wale ambao wangetaka kuchangia mada hii kama uko pale unaelewa ya kwamba roho wa Bwana akiwa juu yako mambo ni mazuri naona kuna watu wameanza kupiga hapa simu huyu ni shabiki wangu mzuri sana ambaye ninampenda sana acha nipokee simu hii kisha tunaweza tukaendelea yes hello asifiwe sana Yesu Ah nimeshinda salama na shukuru bwana pengine wewe umeshindaje kule uliko Haleluya bwana akubariki sana Amina mtumishi Sijui unanipokea ukiwa pande gani hizi za Nakupokea nikiwa pande za hizi hapa Ah barikiwa sana isili kwa isili kunaendeleaje Shukuru Mungu tuendelee vizuri kupambana hapa na pale Amina tunaomba kwamba Mungu akafungue mlango wa fedha mlango wa kazi in Jesus name Hallelujah. 
Leo hii tunazungumzia kuhusu uh, ukijazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Sijui unaelewaje uh, habari hizi za Roho Mtakatifu naweza ukachangia mawili matatu uh, afta kwa kitu cha baraka sana. Karibu. Amina basi. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Anakuepusha na mambo ambayo ni ni, ma, ni maovu maovu. Ndio. Kwanza Mungu anakuwa anakusaidia na unakuwa ni mtu wa baraka. Amen. Kwa hiyo siku ya leo wapenzi wa tazamaji ambao wanaendelea kusikiliza na kutazama ya kwamba yes. inatupasa kuwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Maana ndipo sasa atatuongoza katika mwelekeo ulio kuwa mzuri. Haleluya. Amina mtumishi. Asante sana barikiwa sana. Hiyo ni sauti yake kaka Elia kwenye maeneo pale ya Isilia anasema kwamba Roho Mtakatifu ni mwalimu Roho Mtakatifu anatufundisha anatuonyesha yale ambayo ni mabaya yale ambayo ni mazuri na kwa hivyo kaka Elia mambo yanapoendelea kutusikilizia Bwana kubariki sana endelea kutegea sesheni hii mambo mazuri yako mbele na Mungu azidi na kukuinua karibu sana Elia Amina sana mtumishi na upea Mungu akubariki Amina kazi njema ambayo unaifanya Yes na Mungu endelee kutuongoza zaidi kabisa. Amen. Barikiwa sana Elia. Uh, salimia watu wa isili kule. Haleluya. <laughs> amina, amina, amina. Huyo ni uh, shabiki wetu nambari moja Huyo tunamtambua kama Elias Charles Limo. Naona kuna watu wamekuwa kinipigia simu zika katika katika pale. Unaweza nipigia sasa tumemaliza kuongea na Elia. Hey, keep the phones coming. Let the phones come kwa sababu tunajua kwamba tunaingia katika kipindi cha maombi na singetaka niweze tu kuingia katika maombi bila kuweza kuongea na wewe pale ukiwa pale nyumbani, ukiwa pale kwenye ofisi, mali unaponitazama mali ambapo ulipo, nipigie tu simu yako nikapate kuipokea, nikapate tu kuongea na wewe pale ninajua kwamba itakuwa kitu cha baraka sana. Eh hey, hey, eh shilingi yako moja, shilingi yako tano unaponipigia utamtia mtu moyo. Kuna mtu ambaye amekata tamaa kabisa, amekata tamaa kabisa. Ajui ataanza vipi? Ajui ataenda aje. Ajui ata amekaa katika makanisa wengine wanajazwa yeye hajawahi kujazwa na hajui mtu wanga anajazwa vipi yani ukimuuliza kama anamjua Roho Mtakatifu hajui Roho Mtakatifu ni nani na kwa hivyo tutakuwa pia BP bado tunazidi kujifundisha kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu ni nani kwa hivyo nipigie pale simu yako nipigie simu yako saa hizi dakika niko nazo kama 18 hivi nitakuwa ninamalizia tu nitakuwa namalizia tu kwa hivyo nipigie tu simu yako pale niposa nisiweze nika nisiweze nika kufungia kule nje Aa, kama uko na maoni mazuri naweza kasaidia mtu nipigie tu simu pale tunapoendelea tu kumabudu bwana katika hizi nyimbo ambazo ni za maabudio alafu tutakuwa tuna malizia pale vizuri tunipigie simu yako ah na kuangalia galia wale ambao wanazidi kuingia kwa utukufu wa Yesu haleluya thank you jesus thank you jesus blessed be the name of the lord he is worthy to be praised in the do the force coming tuendelea vizuri i'm almost kumalizia malizia baada ya wimbo huu tutakuwa tunaomba be the name of the lord ukiwa pale just join me in worship blessed be the name of the lord he is worthy he is worthy Yeah. 
da do. Wherever you are, mali ambapo unazidi kunipokea tu kiwa Ah uh, tumeongea kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu akiwa juu ya maisha yetu na kwa hivyo nataka tu uamini pamoja na mimi mali ambapo ulipo ya kwamba katika maombi haya the spirit of the Lord is now taking over the spirit of the Lord is now taking over the spirit of the Lord is now taking over taking over taking over in your life taking over taking over in that situation taking over right now in that job the holy ghost is taking over your soul taking over your tank taking over your spirit kuna wale ambao wamegojea sana wakaweze kuomba katika lugha za kimbingu wakaingia katika lugha za kimbingu believe with me that the holy spirit is taking you to that realm unapelekwa kwenye hiyo realm sahi unaingia kwenye hiyo realm unaingia kwenye hiyo realm sahi in the power in the power of the holy ghost in the power or in the power of the holy ghost in the power of the holy ghost unaingia the Lord is taking you to that realm. Rema shaka la baganda. Reba babu siya la baba bozaya. Rika la bagando. Rema zolo goto siya la bayande. Mazaka la baba bozia na mama mama ma. Unaweza ukatumia namba hiyo inengia kwenye screen yako. Just call me right now. Nipigia saizi tutuombe na wewe. Kuna watu ambao na msubiria buwana. Akaweza kuwa inua tena. Ninaona ya kwamba. Kuna mtu ambaya na mgoji ya buwana na mambia buwana yesu ni meka sana kibila kujazwa roo mtakatifu uduma wangu ni napobiri umekosa ladha because the holy ghost ha Nia yambaye wanga na leta ladha Rom takatifu ndio uleta ladha Rom takatifu ndio uleta ladha Na kwa hivyo ingia tukarika mlima wabwana Amini pamoja na mimi ya kwamba Aha, amini kapoja na mimi ya kwamba Tunaenda kuingia karika uwepo wabwana And somebody is gonna be filled by the Holy Spirit Somebody is gonna be revived one more time In the name of Jesus Roma shelaba gaya na babu zia Reba gato siya laba gande Ma Andara babu zaka la baba 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 In the name of Jesus Shena mayanda Rema gazo Yanduro boziba Mande re 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 Raba kata In the name of the Lord My father Naturally ya hiyo na ema tena ya kujazwa Koro wako mtakatifu Maana kuna mtu mahali fulani Bwana anakusubiria Kuna yule mama anakusubiria mahali fulani Kuna yule mzena kugojea mahali fulani Siku ya leo Kuna mingine bwana na imini ya kwamba bila wewe hawezi kwenenda kuna mkine bwana anajua bila wewe yeye ni bure anajua bila roho wako mtakatifu itakuwa ni mambo ya bure hivyo roho majeshi ninaomba mchana wa leo bwana achilia na ema juu ya msikilizaji na mtazamaji bwana 
katika lunch hour hii jehova achilia neema bwana juu ya maisha huyu ambaye ananiangalia huyu ambaye ametamani sana akajae kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho huyu ambaye anatamani sana akakuone kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho ninaomba bwana siku hii ya leo mfalme ninaomba bwana kwa neema yako and by the power of the holy ghost and by the spirit of the holy ghost and by the grace of the holy ghost reba shala bagia na bozia reba gando robozia ndara la baboyanda rema solo gota shiana mama riba yande rana basikete mando rama yande rianda bozia na mama mama as we worship you lord as we give you the glory jesus as we adore you lord you are doing something new something new upon this woman something new upon this man and any skiliza and any skiliza hey sheka rabagande yeshua rabababo siana mama mama le pranda zoko liba le prasa kate le prako sianta ba shekete bakanta le prakanto robozia baba baba le presenti libiganda le progozia mando roboziba bakande rebebo sakata shekata ya shekere beganta rapakatos katera bayande in the name of jesus my father i release that grace right now naturally your name as i bwana ya mtu mmoja akakubalike bwana acha leo neema sai mfalme ya mtu mmoja akajae kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho kuna huyu bwana mpae amegojea na mwitishie uwepo sasa let there be a connection in the holy ghost let there be a connection in the spiritual realm over the life of this woman over the life of this man in the mighty name of jesus maana when you're gonna be upon us holy ghost of the father our lives are not gonna remain as they are i release that Grace Sheba la baganda mara baba bo sia na baba bo Oh sia na 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 bo ya ndere bo sia na mama Yes shika ya la babo Yeshua sia la ba ya ndoro bo I worship you Lord and I give you glory And I give you honor Lord your worthy Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Na ona mtu anaitwa pale anaitwa a uh, a uh, Jean wa Moyo Ntegwa anasema uh, msaada wangu ni kwako Mungu. Muumba wa mpingu na dunia yote. Hallelujah. Amen. Hapo ni kweli kabisa msaada wetu ni kwa Mungu ambaye amezifanya mpingu nazo inchi. Kumbuka kwamba tunazidi kuongea pale kwamba when the Holy Spirit uh, is upon me, when the Holy Spirit uh, is upon me and I believe uh, somebody is receiving a divine connection right now. Somebody is receiving a divine connection right now. Somebody is being filled by the Holy Ghost right now. Just lift up your hands wherever you are in the next 5 minutes. Uh, just lift up your hands wherever you are. I feel the presence uh, and the power of the Holy Ghost through the waves. Uh, right now somebody is being connected by the grace of the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody is being connected by the new tongues uh, right now. Right now uh, somebody is being revived to another level. Eba kante eba yanda. Shea labu zielebe. Somebody is being rejuvenated. Somebody is being revived. Le prakonda bayande. Le prakonda kaso kita ya dia repeke tila bo rabagan tila baya reshenda la bo shante ana bo sia shante ala baganda re karababu just be connected spiritually the next few minutes uh, the lord is lifting you the lord is lifting you the lord is lifting you right now by the spirit of the lord uh, and asema ya kwamba when the holy ghost has come upon you then you shall be his witnesses a somebody amekuwa na aibu ya kuhubiri neno la bwana i speak the presence of the holy ghost right now i speak the power of the holy ghost right now i speak the glory of the lord right now i speak the power of the lord right now i speak the authority of jesus in the name of jesus i speak 
that right now. Take it your portion right now. Be filled by the Holy Spirit right now. Be filled by the Holy Spirit right now. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are right now, be filled, be filled, be filled. I'm talking to you. Be filled right now. Be filled right now. Be filled by the Holy Spirit. Be filled right now. Rabababo, be filled right now. Be filled right now. Take your portion right now, wherever you are. Somebody is beginning to speak in new tongues. Somebody is beginning to speak in new languages. Be filled right now. Be filled by the Holy Spirit. I declare and I declare. Declare the grace, uh, the grace to be filled, uh, the grace to be filled. Pokea, pokea, name of you. Yakujazo, it is happening, it is happening. Reba Shantayabo, Zele de Bega, Rapo Kotoyanda, Rapa Paposia, Repra Kantaya, Mazekete Le Baganda, Rapa Kazoko Rabayanda, Atawale and Powali Jar, receive a new tank, receive a new language, Lebre Ketia Bozia, Lebro Kosia Nabayande, Mashi. Rebeganda, Rababori, Arena, Boziana, Mama. I release that grace right now. May that atmosphere be changed. May that atmosphere be changed right now. Begin to enter to the spiritual realm. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. This one is the lunch hour. So begin to declare. Begin to declare the glorious works of the Lord. Begin to declare the Bible says when the Holy Spirit had come upon them. Then they receive the power. They began to speak with new languages as the Holy Ghost gave them utterances. Not only are you going to speak in tongues, not only are you going to speak in tongues, but you are also going to declare the grace of the Lord. Not only are you going to speak in tongues, but you are also going to declare the power, the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord that is at work in the name of Jesus. I decree that grace, I decree that grace uh, right now, right now, right now, I decree that grace. I decree that grace in the name of Jesus. The grace to speak in new languages. Not only are you going to speak in new tongues, but even as the moment you are going to preach the word of the Lord, the moment you are going to preach the word of the Lord, your voice shall have power. Remember our tongue has got power. I release that grace right now. The grace that you are going to receive when you are speaking the word of the Lord, when you are praying in the authority of Jesus, you shall receive the grace. Re Mayanda, Re Kayabu, Sake Re Bayanda, Mayande Re Bobo, Sianta Rababoria, Re Prakantaya Mazekete. Oh, Hallelujah, Elishada. Oh, I release that grace in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you because of these viewers, Lord. And by Obana, you have feed them by the Holy Spirit. You have given the grace to start a new dimension of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. You have given them the authority right now to become your witnesses in Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, and to the uttermost part of the world, O oh God. And as I speak, your voice, O oh God, should take control over them right now. Your presence to take control over them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to wind up this service today. Takani semi ya kwamba kwa lembo wame kwa wakiingia. May the Lord bless you so much. Kwa lembo wame share. May the Lord also continue to bless you so much. Wewe ni mtuwa maana sana. Naona Elias Chase kwa pale watching. Naona Jane wa muyundu ndegwa watching there. God bless you so much. Vili Villas, I receive that grace to repair that which has been destroyed in my life. God bless you so much. Aha, 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 aha. What to pale. May the Lord bless you. New commenter. Amen and amen. You can like our page. You can subscribe our page as well. And the Lord is going to bless you mightily in a mighty way. I want to reach there. 
nataka nifike tu pale kwa maana masa yangu yamekwenda na wewe utakuwa mtu wa baraka amini ya kwamba the holy spirit has already filled you by this power and by his authority na kwa hivyo wewe ni mtu wa maana tu wewe si mtu wa kawaida may the lord bless you so much until we meet our next time ama masamba yabakia kwa wale wahubiri watakaokuwa wanaingia may the lord bless you may the lord bless you so much god bless you god bless you Apa Room TV, TV. Sharing, sharing Jesus, Jesus. sharing life
na afungua hii pawa afungua hii pawa na afungua ndoa ya mauti si hata bado ungenipatia worship ipe kwa father is free to go on to you Thank you. 